Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the OnBack Press in a fragment in Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and two fragments 1 and 2. And in the UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the main activities layout. Two fragment layouts. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a constraint layout that we will use as a container to load the fragments. The ID of this layout is the container. In the fragment underscore one.xml file, we have a button, go to the second fragment. And in the fragment underscore two.xml file, we have a text view, the second fragment. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, first, we implement the view binding. Then, we call the load first fragment function. This is the load first fragment function where we load the first fragment into the fragment container. These are the imports. This is the first fragment. In the onCreate function, first, we implement the view binding. When the button is clicked, we call the go to second fragment function. This is the go to second fragment function. This is how we go to the second fragment. Here we put the first fragment in the back stack. These are the imports. This is the second fragment. In the onCreate function, we call the setup on backpressed function, which registers the on backpress event for the fragment. This is the setup on backpressed function. Here we call the on backpress dispatcher callback, which has a handle on backpressed function. First, we check if the backpressed functionality is enabled or not. If enabled, we do our task, for example, here we have shown a toast, and then called the activity.onBackPressed function. And then we set the enabled value to false. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the onBackPress function in a fragment in Kotlin Android. Thank you.